Hi, and welcome to Tuesday Two Minute Tip. So it's late summer and produce is delicious, but a lot of late summer produce doesn't do well in the fridge, like delicious heirloom tomatoes. When they get in the fridge, that's how they turn kind of mealy. Um, so I end up with lots of tomatoes sitting on my counter. So I woke up this morning and I noticed a bunch of fruit flies and realized why my tomato kind of split on the bottom. So this is what causes fruit flies. They're attracted to the rotting kind of soft bits. Um, peaches are really bad for this too. I keep strawberries on my counter usually for a day at a time. I just don't like strawberries when you bite them from the fridge. So we tend to eat them really quickly. Um, but if they go bad at all or start to have soft spots like this, that brings fruit flies too. So to me, this is a sign that I need to eat this tomato immediately. So you're looking at lunch right here. I'm probably going to make some kind of tomato sandwich with it. Or you could move this into your refrigerator. Or if this, this is just a little split, you can see most of the rest of this tomato is still super great. So I'm still going to eat this raw. But if it were really bad, you could move it into the fridge and then repurpose this into a tomato sauce or in, um, diced up into soup maybe. So do something cooked with it if it's rotting, but not, you know, it's not rotten. There's nothing wrong with it. It just is um, overripe. So how do you get rid of those fruit flies? So this is an old culinary school trick. Um, you know, every restaurant ever that has fruit flies can do this. Um, so basically you take a piece of paper. This is parchment paper. You could even use computer paper, construction paper, anything. It doesn't matter. You roll it up into a little like funnel shape, twist it at the bottom. So it's smaller at the bottom, put it in there and then let it open up at the top, right? So then this funnel sits here in the bottom of this you can put like a little chunk of a peach or even like a peach pit that still has some flesh on it, but you're not really going to eat it because um, the actual, the fruit attached really, really attracts the flies really well. And then put a little bit of vinegar in the bottom. So when the flies go in, they can't find their way back up out of the paper. The other way to do it is to take a little dish. It can be an open top dish, put some vinegar in there and a drop of dish soap. And the dish soap helps break up the surface. So when the flies land on it, they sink into the vinegar and they can't get back out. Um, a third way to do it is take another type of jar. It could be this same type of jar with a little vinegar and or fruit in the bottom. You could cover it with plastic wrap, punch a bunch of holes in it, and then they go through the plastic wrap and they can't come back out. I like the other method better because we're not wasting any plastic wrap in the process, but that's just that. And then the fourth way to do it is that they're really attracted to beer or wine. So if you have especially a bottle of beer with a skinny neck and you have maybe, you know, a tiny little half sip or whatever in there, you could leave a stale beer out. Same with wine. You could use wine, you know, it's like vinegar basically, so you, it, but also sweet. So that attracts them. So if you don't have vinegar or if you just happen to have an extra splash of wine, you could do that in the bottom of the jar as well. And just leave that out on the counter for a little while and the fruit flies will be gone in no time. The second part of that is to prevent them from coming back by rotating your produce, make sure you only buy what you can consume, move it into the refrigerator if it starts to get too soft too quickly, or you know if you have an, a, a surplus that you can't use, use it for things like smoothies, you can fruit freeze it, you could make a baked peach cobbler that you store in the freezer for later. So first part, get rid of the flies today. Second part, let's make sure that we're only um, buying the right amount through meal planning or, you know, making a grocery list before you go to the grocery store. Things I say all the time. You want more tips like this? Um, there at scrolls right now, get on endsandstems.com. Um, if you do slash get tips, you can get on my newsletter and I send out food waste tips and free recipes every week. Tons of other great resources on there. I'll see you at endsandstems.com.